Hello everybody, Noel Christopher with Renner's Warehouse coming to you with another video here. So it's a cloudy day in Colorado where I live. Winters come early. It's been snowing for the last week and it's going to snow again some more this week. So winter's coming folks, even in the housing market. According to a lot of news articles that have been put out recently, um, really focused around new home starts, uh, new home sales, existing home sales, uh, consumer sentiment in the housing market. People are taking a lot of this out of context information and making the assumption or uh, the thesis that there's going to be a housing crash, that we're going into a housing crash right now, that this is happening. Uh, if you look at the numbers, you need to really think about it. There's a one particular article that came out in uh, CCN dot com ccnnews.com i'm not sure a whole lot about them and why they push this narrative so much but they're taking the fact that uh, there's a lack of supply a lack of inventory which has caused some affordability issues and these are real issues in the housing market uh, and saying that the economics behind it is that because there's such a lack of supply and housing prices has hit a certain number that now the, all these buyers are going to pull back and there's going to be a crash in housing prices that doesn't make economic sense and I don't know why they push this narrative. And they also quote Robert Schiller saying that he's saying we're going into a housing crash. And I'm not really sure why everybody puts so much stake into uh, this economist. And Robert Schiller's great. I love his book, uh, Narrative Economics. Um, and and he says a lot of great things, but he's also pulled back a lot of his statements or actually re-clarified because they were taken out of context. He's not saying there's we're going into a housing crash. He also says that you can't predict. Uh, most economists can't predict, and they're notoriously bad at predicting where the housing market's going to go. But if you look at the basic economics, if there is a lack of supply, prices rise at a certain point, they hit a point that the uh, buyers will not buy, so then they adjust slowly. This is a healthy market. This is a good thing. We also have millennials. Record number of millennials are at home buying uh, age and they're out there buying. I'm not sure where the numbers are, but the numbers are pretty strong. And just because the home buying sentiment's gone down a little bit, because a lot of the narratives about recession and people are a little bit worried, and uh, there's to say the job market's softening. Yeah, it's 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 taking its gas off the accelerator. We always talk about this. The accelerator's been. I mean, the housing, the economy's been going great, it's slowing down a little bit. That's okay, but I don't really see a big recession coming. And I don't see a housing crash coming. There's just too much demand. The home the home builders are trying to keep up with that demand. Uh, there is some issues with inventory, um, which is causing some affordability issues, but it doesn't mean we're going into a housing crash. So I'll post the link to this article in the comments. I think the Wall Street Journal also put a, an article out where a lot of these people are, are, are glamming onto this and saying that we're going into this housing crash. And I, I'm not sure why that, that narrative is being pushed but it is being pushed and uh, you know, no reason to believe me. I don't, I can't predict the future either. either. I just call it like I see it. And I don't think we should believe all this hype that's being pushed out there. And I've been doing this, these videos for a year, saying the same things over and over. And, and so far I've been right, but it's really just common sense. And if you want to call it common sense economics, you can, but uh, I don't see the housing crash coming yet. And if there is one, um, it's going to be a few years down the road. So it really doesn't matter at this point right now. Uh, I really love to hear your comments on this. If you agree, if you disagree, uh, I do a LinkedIn live show. It'd be great for you to come on my show, especially if you disagree with me. Um, I think that we more people need to have this conversation and look deeper into the numbers and not just believe something you read in a news article that really isn't uh, or that really is taking things out of context. So comment, um, contact me, uh, and I thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate it.